Welcome to the podcast. We are going to discuss amethyst, which is currently considered as the birthstone for the month of February. Not a big fan of amethyst as your February birthstone? No worries. We are going to discuss about February birthstone alternatives as well. Stay tuned to this podcast because you are about to find out that this amazing purple crystal is more than just a pretty gemstone. So, let's begin! Are you looking for a crystal to tap into your inner wisdom? Keep you calmed and relaxed and enhance your spiritual awareness? Amethyst is said to be the crystal of intuition, wisdom, relaxation, transformation, and peace. Some sources say that it is the crystal of spiritual protection, purification, and divine connection. Other sources say that wearing amethyst as a jewelry can be a symbol of personal empowerment and inner strength. Amethyst has been used for centuries for its powerful metaphysical properties, including promoting calmness, clarity, and intuition. This crystal is associated with the third eye, crown, and etheric chakras. It comes in a variety of beautiful shades of purple, ranging from reddish violet to violet to pastel lavender. It comes from Brazil, Uruguay, Sri Lanka, Australia, and Africa. Part of the quartz family, Amethyst gets its purple color from iron and manganese. It solidifies into crystals in volcanic rock cavities, forming geodes as a result. Whether you're wearing it as a jewelry, or place it in your home or workspace, Amethyst can help you unlock your future potential and live your best life. Amethyst is said to be the birthstone for anyone born during the month of February. What I have right here are different forms of amethyst crystals, ranging from clusters to tumbled to raw even pointed ones. So this one, the one that I'm showing you right now is a pointed amethyst crystal. This is a tumbled amethyst crystal. And this one is a cluster amethyst crystal. It even comes in uh, other forms as well, such as geodes and raw crystals as well, which currently I don't have it with me, or I don't have some of them right now. So anyways, What I'm going to do right now is that I am going to show you this book called The Pocket Book of Stones, who they are and what they teach. It's a revised and expanded edition with 47 new stones. And this book is authored by Robert Simmons. You can find this book at your local bookstore wherever sold such as Barnes & Noble or you can even also order it on Amazon alright the world of stones in your pocket isn't that cool it even has vivid color uh, photographs to help you Accurate, I, or accurately identify every crystal. Just cool. So, 
So this is a photo of Amethyst. Isn't this beautiful? So, it even has the keywords, chakras, even the element, physical properties, emotional properties, as well as spiritual properties of Amethyst. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read it uh, a little bit. So, it says keywords, protection, purification, divine connection, and release of addictions. The following chakras that associated with amethyst are third eye, crown, and etheric chakras. Its element is wind. Its physical properties are, or physical benefits or healing benefits of it is Overcoming addictions, tinnitus, nerve disorders, aid oxygenation of the blood. And it says for emotional benefits, it says it helps clear negative or addictive emotional patterns. Spiritual benefits as well. It says uh, facilitates a uh, Conscious connection with spirit guides, angels, and source. Hmm. So it even says here that Amethyst is a member of the Quartz family, which I mentioned it earlier, with a triagonal crystal system and hardness of seven on the most scale. So it's uh, referring to uh, the hardness. I think the what they're basing out of uh, is based in the Mo's uh, scale of hardness. So its color, which varies from pale to deep purple, derived from the combination of trace amounts of iron and aluminum. Some, uh, some sources say, which I, I'm learning this just now, that um, some sources say that uh, it's actually uh, a combination of trace amounts of iron and manganese, but this one it says iron and aluminum. And in case if I'm not correct, or if I'm incorrect, then possibly it might be iron, uh, iron or uh, either iron and aluminum or iron and manganese. So. And it says amethyst crystals and gem bra are found in Brazil, Bolivia, Mexico, Africa, Canada, Russia, the U.S., and Europe. I think a, a lot of the amethyst uh, that we've been getting the most in the U.S. are coming from Brazil. And there are some actually, you know, we also have amethyst here in the U.S. as well, too can't remember which location it was. I think it's uh, probably somewhere in Arkansas or uh, it can be like it, it varies. So anyways. Amethyst is a stone of spiritual protection and purification and it can be an aid to curbing overindulgence. And giving up bad habits. So for those of you that are going through addiction, I think amethyst is actually uh, good uh, to actually um, feel the energy of it. Especially when you're getting into meditation as well too. Amethyst can help you in facilitating uh, in overcoming addictions. It can be used to assist one in uh, quitting smoking, drinking, or drug use. It stimulates uh, the crown chakra and is an aid to meditation, helping one to still one's thoughts and move into higher state of consciousness. And even added that it can clear one's energy field of negative influences and attachments and can thereby facilitate creation of an 
energy shield, the field of spiritual light around the body that wards off the negativity in one's environment. And also, I mean, when I've uh, started uh, getting to know Amethyst and I tried to uh, actually start uh, meditating with Amethyst, it does have a feeling of peace, calmness, and transformation. So that's what I've uh, experienced so far in uh, using Amethyst for meditation. So, and also, continuing on, Amethyst can bring the feeling that one is surrounded and protected by a bubble of light. That's what it says. If one is ill, placing an amethyst uh, specimen in one's room can help keep one's healing space clear. Hmm. Interesting. So, actually, is actually beneficial to even place your amethyst crystal in the room it'll also help you it'll also help you uh, have not only uh, some kind of uh, interesting dreams but also it's gonna also aid you in making your sleep feel better yep it's gonna improve your sleep as well So, also, it even says on this book that where an amethyst maintains the inner space of one's body and energy field in the space of balance and well-being. For spiritual protection, amethyst works especially well when combined with Moldavite. Hmm. Cool. The spiritual connection provided by amethyst can be enhanced by Possessed to light? Or is it as is to light? Hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong. Well, anyways, and it's it says... Phantasite, Electrolyte, and... Natrolyte or Naturalite? Hmm. Cool. Alright. So, what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to head to this website called Gia.com. Okay. Just give me just one moment while I'm trying to pull up the website and GIA.com, uh, the, it's the acronym, G-I-A, it's the acronym for, do, 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 pardon me, folks, I should have been prepared for this. It's the acronym for G G uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Gemological I Institute of America, mm -hmm. or GIA. So, to give you a background of GIA, it was established in 1931, and it is one of the world's uh, foremost authority on diamonds, colored stones and pearls and they are truly the experts of a number of crystals minerals and gemstones as well and they are actually a non-profit institute so gia is actually the leading source of knowledge standards and education in gems and jewelry hmm and they also participate in uh, some kind of research and, uh, and they also uh, provide news and even education and as well as analysis and grading. And on their website, they even have the Gem Encyclopedia as well. Pretty interesting. 
And it's been around for over 90 plus years. Well, wow, that's cool. So, they believe that the amethyst is the birthstone for the month of February. That's actually according to them. So, to give you a, a background about amethyst, actually, uh, the, uh, amethyst actually derives from the Greek amethy amethystos, according to them, which means a remedy against drunkenness. Hmm. It does make sense, though. If you, I mean, uh, the one that I actually um, uh, read to you uh, under the book, uh, the pocket book of stones, it does show that it. I mean, amethyst actually helps you in um, in fighting addictions, including uh, preventing you from getting drunk. Hmm. It helps you um, become alcohol free. It does take some time though, but it does help you keep yourself calm and uh, and have that transformative uh, feel to it and energy to it too. So that's cool. And moving along, a benefit long ascribed to the pure purple birthstone according to them. So because of its wine-like color, they say that early Greek mythology associated a gem with Bacchus, the god of wine. Hmm. Amethyst was also believed to keep the wearer clear-headed and quick-witted in battle and business affairs. Hmm. Renaissance Europeans, though, it calmed lovers overrun by passion. Hmm. Interesting. Amethyst, they say, is a gem uh, traditionally uh, given for the sixth wedding anniversary. So, anyways, they say that uh, uh, it can, uh, you can wear it in celebration of your wedding nuptials or as your February birthstone, and you'll be in ro royal company. So a number of them have uh, actually worn them before. For instance, uh, Catherine the Great, the Empress uh, Catherine of Russia, uh, from 1729 to 1796, had a uh, penchant of the gem and decked herself in amethyst uh, necklaces, earrings, and other ornaments. Even the famous uh, jewelry uh, connoisseur, uh, connoisseur, Wallace, Duchess of Windsor, from 1896 to 1986, made a memorable, uh, memorable statement when she wore a lavish Cartier-designed amethyst bib necklace to a gala in Versailles in 1953, according to Giada.edu. So... If you'd like to learn more about it, you can go to uh, their website at gia.edu. And I'm going to put a link to um, into the description about February birthstones according to GIA or GIA. Anyways, this is pretty interesting. So, also, according to GIA, amethyst was found in Russia, which is uh, which was the major source of amethyst until the 19th century, according to them, when large deposits were found in Brazil as well. And then also, in addition. The most important sources of amethyst are in Africa and South America as well. But they also say that Brazil is still a major supplier, especially its uh, south, uh, southernmost state, Rio Grande do Sul. 
So anyways... Amethyst from Brazil, according to them, sometimes forms in hollow, crystal-lined geodes so large you can stand in them. Interesting. All right. It even also uh, covers the birthstone care and cleaning as well. So anyways... As I mentioned, you can find that at uh, gia.edu and I'm going to put down the link in the description as well about the February birthstones. There's a lot of things to learn about Amethyst as February's birthstone, so you might as well check it out. Next, I'm going to be... Um, Reading Amethyst uh, from Gemstones.com as well. And also stay tuned that stay tuned uh, for the February uh, birthstone alternatives that I'm going to be also covering as well, according to Gemstones.com as well. So moving along. So according to gemstones.com, they say that Amethyst, the birthstone for February, has beautiful purple shades. So these are actually ranging from uh, reddish purple to violet to pastel lavender, according to them. And they even mentioned that Amethyst crystallizes in volcanic rock cavities, creating geodes as a result. So also... They added that the, these are often cut to make gorgeous displays that are the perfect addition to your crystal collection or make for unique home decor. So also gemstones.com also uh, mentioned the color um, of February's birthstone as well. So I'm not going to go to that because I kind of mentioned it a little bit. Oh, here. Here's another one. Gemstones.com mentioned that Amethyst gets its purple coloration from iron and manganese in the quartz structure. So according to the, uh, pocket, books, uh, uh, the pocket book of stones... I mentioned it was uh, actually containing, or uh, it, it did uh, say that it contains iron and aluminum, while gemstones.com says that its purple coloration uh, comes from iron and manganese in the quartz structure. That's what it says. So, some stones are bicolor showing off different shades of purple in the same stone. And they even uh, mentioned that ametrine, uh, ametrine is actually a bicolor uh, quartz with uh, a combination of amethyst and citrine. So it has a, a color blend between purple and yellow. Hmm. So they even also mentioned the spiritual meaning of amethyst. So they do actually mention as well that the name amethyst actually comes from one of the early beliefs about the stone's properties. So they even also mention uh, the uh, Greek work uh, ameth uh, amethystos. Uh, the same thing is gia uh, or gia.edu as well. It means not drunk. So they also mentioned that amethyst supposedly had a sobering effect. Isn't that cool? Mm hmm. Ooh, what's cool about this is that uh, it, uh, pl placed in a goblet, it says amethyst would prevent people from acting too foolish while dr drunk. Whoa. Hmm. That's pretty interesting. Anyways. 
And even、uh, wearing amethyst, they say, would help the wearer keep a level head and make rational decisions.、Hmm. Interesting. Even Egypt,、uh, they say that e- Egyptians, Romans, and Greeks associated the purple of amethyst with wisdom and peace. So, not only Greeks、uh, love amethyst, but also Egyptians and Romans during the ancient times love amethyst as well. Hmm. They even say that amethyst、uh, was a stone worn、uh, into battle because of its supposed、uh, ability to increase one's courage as well. Even Leonardo, the, the, is,、uh, Leonardo da Vinci was,、uh, is actually mentioned here.、Um, he actually claimed that amethyst helped a person think on their feet and react wisely. Hmm. Wow. Cool. Hmm. Anywho. Wow, this is also interesting. They even mentioned a, a different species of amethyst, which I didn't know. It's not just ametrine that was mentioned,、uh, which is a combination of、uh, amethyst and citrine. They even have、um, the so called Rose de France amethyst. Hmm.、Uh, it's said to be a color variety of light lavender or lilac shades of purple. So, this variety is more subtle, but it is loved by collectors and jewelry wearers. They even have Siberian amethyst. So, this type of amethyst is、uh, purple with hints of、uh, mostly blue, but some red undertones.、Hmm. I didn't know that. Uruguayan, on the other hand, the Uruguayan amethyst. It's、uh, possibly one of the rarest of all amethysts, according to gemstones.com. So, Uruguayan amethyst is found in the Ar- Artigas region of Uruguay. Or for some of you Spanish speakers,、uh, I know that you guys pronounce it as Uruguay. So, anyways, they're、uh, darker.、Uh, they're, Darker purple gives them higher value than most lighter amethyst. Hmm, pretty interesting. And I would like to add also about Siberian amethyst. They、uh, actually also mention that Siberian amethyst has a regal colorization that looks beautiful set, set in gold. What the? Interesting. Alrighty. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Ah! Here's another quote or、um, another say from gemstones.com that Saint Valentine wore a ring of amethyst engraved with an image of Cupid. In addition, because of his beliefs in the virtue of love and marriage, amethyst is associated with romance and it is the perfect stone for new couples. Hmm. Great. That's actually, it's actually great to have amethyst、uh, just in time for Valentine's Day. Hmm. Cool. Oh well. So, if you'd like to learn more about amethyst, I'm gonna uh, actually uh, include gemstones.com uh, uh, birthstone、uh, or February birthstones. Pardon me, folks. Anyways, I'm gonna include、uh, the link in the description uh, below uh, about、um, Amethyst、uh, as、uh, February birthstone, according to gemstones.com. There's a lot to learn about these. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm supposed to talk about February birthstone alternatives. So, for those of you that are not a fan of amethyst, 
We've got you, uh, we've got you, go uh, blah, blah, blah. we've got you covered. Part of my tongue twister right here. Anyways, so if you're not a big fan of Amethyst, we have the following February birthstone alternatives. We have Onyx and Moonstone. So, according to gemstones.com, if you're not a fan of purple amethyst, why not try February birthstone alternatives like black onyx and moonstone? These gemstones are elegant and classy statement pieces to wear with anything in your wardrobe. They even mentioned unique and energy, or unique and edgy. Black onyx is believed to absorb negative energy. Well, on the other uh, end of the spectrum is the uh, magnificent moonstone. So this white February birthstone, according to gemstones.com, has an Iridescent uh, shine that brings the look of rainbows and the purity of white all together. Cool. I hope you've enjoyed this podcast. Please don't forget to like, comment, and share it. For more upcoming videos, shorts, and podcasts, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Refer to the description below this video to learn more about the crystals in this podcast. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you next time.